The Polypool tool is more than just a retopology tool, it can be utilized for modeling as well. Let's take a look at this with an example. All right, so I'm modeling a shoe here, and if we tab into edit mode, you'll notice that we've got a certain edge flow going on here. Now, if we want to model details onto this, those details are going to have radically different flow to it. And so if we take a look at our reference here, you'll notice that we've got something that's doing this. We've got something that's doing this. And if we tab into edit mode, this is radically different from the edge flow that we've got going on here. So duplicating and extracting parts of the mesh to model this is out of the question. Now, normally you would create a plane and you'd need to uh, do a couple of things to set it up. And then you would use the edge extrude method in order to model these details out. However, with the polyquil tool, it's just far more easier. So we need to set things up a little bit. So the first thing is we need to make sure that we have snap on and face snap selected there. And we need to just create a empty mesh object. After that, we can just switch to edit mode and we can just select our polyquill tool. And now we can very easily just start sketching out the detail on our reference here. And we can just keep scaling this like so. Also, we can just bring out a panel here, just ensure snap is on. And we'll just change this to flex. And I'll continue just pulling this out like so. So I'll just speed this portion up. So as you can see, we have very easily gone ahead and sketched that detail onto our surface and it's sitting flush to the base mesh just as we want it. And so the polyquill tool is actually quite useful for modeling as well. So now all we have to do is just create a solidify modifier and we'll just push this detail out, give it some thickness. We'll add maybe a subduction surface modifier to this. We'll have to add some control loops just to hold that and also we'll need a shrink wrap modifier just to make sure that everything is sitting nicely. We'll just have to rearrange our modifiers to get the desired result. And now I'm just going to jump ahead and show you what this looks like once everything is cleaned up. So now that I've gone ahead and just cleaned up everything, this is basically what the finished result would look like. And so the polyquill tool is actually quite useful. Make sure you use it. If you found this video helpful, you're not going to want to miss my next one, as I'll be showing you how to model these shoes. So make sure to subscribe to be notified. All right, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.